Hello, I'm George Hayes and today's tutorial is on how to create a glyph system to use with the SDL2 font system. And the purpose for that you will see with this demo I have running right now is you can sit there and allow it to automatically adjust with your lines as far as that and have it separate as far as break the line as far as where the white spaces are and so on and that's not really easy to do with just a standard SDL2 system because you'd have to create a texture for each line and estimate ahead of time how large that line is going to be with so many characters and then you'd have to readjust and so forth and reload each time and you know you make a new texture each time you're going to sit there and do that. In this case what you're doing is you're simply creating a texture for each character and all you're intending to use and then creating an index for it so that you can reference it and how you choose to do that exactly that's kind of up to you but I'm going to show you the way I sit there and do it. I created a structure for, for the glyph which is then holding an SDL image in it for each one of those characters and that's you know one character per each you know one of these with a width and height Alright, and what I do is I create a set of glyphs with this little function here, and it basically does it for all the characters I'm intending to use. Like in this case, you know, I have 0 through 9, upper and lower case, and then several of the different characters that I want as far as like uh, add, subtract, minus, divide, all your brackets, you know, pound sign, at sign, and so on like that, right? And punctuation marks. All right, so that's what this function right here does. Then I have this function that actually displays the line. All right, and it can be made more complex than this to do more stuff, and I'll show you in a bit. But this one here just takes in, as far as the string text, it takes in uh, the margin. It takes your Y value that you want, as far as where you want it to be displayed at, as far as up and down on the screen. Uh, the set of glyphs that you're gonna do your screen render and then it takes in the screen width and screen height and here as far as in this section here it first starts writing as far as it when it finds a white space then it does a check to see if anything else beyond that white space will fit on that line now there's a downside to this because I you just thought of it if you put a whole bunch of characters in and had no white spaces it would continuously keep going down trying to look for another line look for a break to put in it break create, create an error like that but if you have fairly normal standard text you're not going to have that issue because you'd have white space in there all right so it looks for the white space and then it goes as far as and checks if see if anything further can fit there and if it, if more can fit then it goes through and keeps adding as far as into that and then if it can't then it goes through and skips down to the next line that's what this is here and this is where it actually adds to the line all right and this is just the way I sit there and get the value to determine which one of those um, glyphs I want to sit there and access per the character coming in all right now I chose that because otherwise there's going to be a bit of an issue when it comes to setting up the enum as far as it uh, if this was Java yeah it might be a little easier as far as in that but now I just went that way and made it quicker and tell you the truth I didn't even write most of this all I did is create a for loop and then had it fill in the values for me from out of the other stuff so <laughs> you can save yourself a bit of time and then just copy and paste it once you've done it that way now this is actually built off the two original SDL tutorial regarding uh, fonts and all I did is modify it and take out the stuff from another thing and then add this here in and so if we go in here and look as far as on loop there's nothing really there and then the render it just has that render line where I called it from here and then I think it's in load content I create the glyphs I bring the text in as far as on it which all I did is put a string of text here and that's really pretty much all there is to it now quite frankly there is one thing I should do is since I have all these textures I should go through and clear them out in here which I haven't done so but I'll be putting this up as far as on the thing to show you as far as uh, so you can download it I'll go ahead and show you what a little bit more complexity added to that can do 
um, go ahead and close this project I'm not going to show you the source code on this next thing but it'll give you an idea what type of stuff you can do with it alright so if I hit run here alright give it four seconds and the button come up alright so basically it's just a little text based game with allows multiple choices in here as you can see this re changes and it allows me to sit there even by adding in it where it measures the distance as far as like in between all the lines and so forth so this one here tells me how far down how big it is and that way if I go and scoot this over so now it takes up two lines and see it automatically adjusted so you can add some complexity in like that and then use those inf that information coming back from it to sit there and provide you stuff like this so then when I click on it, it does something like that like that and so on all right so anyway I hope you liked the tutorial and I'll have the project and all up on my website and everything to download as usual as far as regarding the glyph system and have a great day